So we're seeing two things currently. We're seeing that uh, everybody's holding their breath and say, well, the Supreme Court decided immunity, and if they do, can we have the trial in, in May? But if it puts off to September, then if Trump wins, can we put it off? And it happened January 6th of, uh, of 2021. Of course, our great attorney general, who we were all, all assured was a principled person who was going to restore integrity to the Justice Department, decided that he didn't want to investigate January the 6th because he thought it would look too political. Imagine being political by investigating the most massive crime against the Constitution since Fort Sumter. But he didn't. And thank God we had politicians that came in and politicians held hearings. And of course, the hearings exposed criminality of which our distinguished Cosmos Club, established terrorism, uh, judicious, thoughtful attorney general had no other choice but to start an investigation a long time after these criminal acts were committed. And so now, Thanks to our attorney general, we're up against the clock. At the same week, we get the her report, uh, who was, by the way, appointed by our distinguished establishmentarianism, highly credentialed attorney general, a gentleman by the name of Robert Hur. What could be possibly wrong with a man named Robert Hur? I mean, oh yeah, well, he worked at Kirkland and Ellis under Brent Kavanaugh. He was a clerk for William Rehnquist, who, if you recall was one of the most famous, whose career started as a vote suppressor, intimidating Hispanic voters in Arizona. And so then, and Mr. Herr, of course, is in the Federalist Society, so we could all be assured that the integrity of the Justice Department was going to be upheld. So he issues a report, which is totally contrary to Justice Department policy, of which, of course, Robert Mueller, another Republican, because there can be no other special counsels but Republican special counsels, because that is the law of Washington. It is chiseled in marble, and it has been validated through through the years that only Republicans can investigate Republicans, and only Republicans can investigate Democrats, because, well, it It will make them happy. Well, I hope you're happy now. I hope you had every kind of gratuitous piece of shit that you had. You waited until your hand was forced to investigate one of the most massive criminal acts in modern American history. You appointed a a political uh, zealot to investigate the president of the United States. Good work, Merrick. Maybe if somebody appoints you to the Supreme Court again, Mitch McConnell will be nice to you because that's all you care about is what Republicans think about you. Well, no telling how many, you know, remember Moscow, Mitch, how many outlets the Republicans have that are funding them and and Trump who takes it directly from Russia. (laughs) I mean, there's not much much doubt about that. And, you know, Putin's got to be laughing himself silly on the gullibility of the Republican Party and the gullibility of, of the American people uh, to think there's something remotely legit about this entire thing. Uh, I think the evidence abounds. You know, you only had to look. Oh, wait. One of the most underreported, underappreciated documents, and probably it was bipartisan, so we can all be happy about that, was the Senate Intelligence Committee, uh, which said there was Russian interference everywhere. And for some or another, that never got the exposure that it should have. And if we have to learn that if you love America, you stop appeasing these bastards. But we just keep appeasing them and we keep thinking that they'll do the right thing, that they'll be principled, that they're really Americans first and Republicans second. Oh, bullshit. Total bullshit. <laughs>